Hey friends, Kenji here for a concise Ikoria limited review. So that's in regards to Draft and Sealed. Now that we've had a chance to play with Ikoria for a week or two, I thought it would be a great time to go over my top three limited commons in each color. Now some of these might seem a little bit obvious, but others are going to surprise you. Let's jump right in with white and go over my top three. Number three, Imposing Vantasaur. This format has a ton of cycling cards throughout all of the colors, and any card that can cycle for one mana, in addition to just being a fine playable on its own, is already going to be a very, very good card in the format. We'll touch upon it later, but there's a, a very good cycling deck, and anything like Imposing Vantasaur that you can just cycle away for one mana is going to be super good. So number three, Imposing Vantasaur. Number two, Checkpoint Officer. White has a really good removal suite, and Checkpoint Officer is one of the better ones for sure. Now, it is a human, which means you're not going to be able to mutate on top of it, but Checkpoint Officer is a really good way to combat a lot of the mutate creatures itself, just because with mutate, your opponent's going to go in on one creature a lot of the times, and Officer can handle it. Number one white common, Pacifism. This should be fairly intuitive, as this is just a really good rate for any type of removal, and pacifism is one that we've seen time and time again in a bunch of limited formats. A white and one to give a creature, well, to make a creature unable to block or attack is, is a really good rate. And even though it is susceptible to enchantment removal, the cheapness, the splash ability makes pacifism the top white common. The top three blue commons, starting with number three, Capture Sphere. Similar to Pacifism, Capture Sphere does a really good job of just locking down one particular creature, especially if it's been one that's mutated on top of. The nice thing about Capture Sphere is that it also turns off any tap abilities that a creature might have, and there are quite a few creatures with tap abilities, so Capture Sphere gets a little bit of an upgrade over Pacifism, but the fact that Capture Sphere is the third best blue common tells you something that the next two cards are going to be pretty darn good. Number two, Dreamtail Heron. This is the first mutate card we've seen on this list so far, and this one is a doozy. The majority of the mutate cards are just good on their own, whether you cast them, uh, mutate with them. For Dreamtail Heron, 5 mana for a 3-4 flyer in a limited format is generally a pretty good rate as it is, but the fact that you can mutate for 4 mana and you know draw an extra card every additional time that you mutate is going to really put this over the top. So, number 2 blue common, Dreamtail Heron. And the best blue common in Ikoria Lair of Behemoths is Essence Scatter. I've been liking this card more and more as the set has progressed, as I've continued to play with it. It really, it's just a great two mana removal spell in blue. I mean, it deals with so many creatures, so many threats, and with Mutate running around rampantly, you can really get somebody with just a good, well-timed Essence Scatter. So top blue common, Essence Scatter. Next, we'll move to black. The third best is going to be Memory Leak. Similar to why I gave Imposing Vantasaur such a very high rating, Memory Leak is just an amazing card. Not only can you just add it into any deck, regardless of if you're black, to cycle it for one and effectively you know, thin out your deck, make your deck size smaller, but also for three mana, it's just a very potent card. There are a ton of powerful cards in uh, Ikoria, of course, and for limited, being able to look at your opponent's hand and take a card from it is really good. So, th you know, the discard effects generally suffer from being really weak in the later stages of the game when your opponent probably doesn't have any cards or maybe they're just holding onto a land or whatever. But with Memory Leak, if your opponent doesn't have any cards in hand, you can always just cycle it for one. So Memory Leak, third best black common. Number two, Cavern Whisperer. This is one of the better mutate creatures, in my opinion. Now, again, not only is it just good as a 5-mana 4-4 four, four menace a lot of the time, but you can mutate it for 4 onto any non-human, and it makes your opponent discard a card every time it's mutated. So you can really push the advantage here by either just playing this uh, you know, as a 5-mana 4-4 four, four menace on curve, or if you're able to mutate it at any point of the game and just make your opponent start discarding cards, it kind of negates any potential blowouts, because the thing with mutate is... If your opponent kills your creature after you've mutated, they've kind of gotten a two for one. But, it, but with cards like Dreamtail Heron and Cavern Whisperer, you kind of negate any of that card disadvantage by getting, you know, a card of your own in return. And the number one black common in Ikoria Lair of Behemoths, maybe to no surprise, is going to be the Blood Curdle. 
can't go wrong with four mana instant speed destroy a creature and you even get the upside of being able to give a menace counter to one of your creatures if you have one on the battlefield uh, at the time that this spell resolves there are actually quite a few different um, cards and other abilities in the that make having counters on your creatures super relevant so not only is just this a good card on the front end but if you get some extra menace value then hey that's all upside baby so number one black common blood curdle let's move on to red my number three top red common in the set is prickly marmoset three mana for a two three first strike is not an amazing rate for a creature but the fact that this set and we've touched upon this earlier has so much cycling means this card is just super hard to deal with not only on offense but also on defense if your opponent attacks you with a prickly marmoset you can't really block with anything if you're if they're holding up any extra mana and you don't have something to deal with it immediately the the ability for them to just cycle one card maybe two cards when this creature has first strike makes it such a lethal threat in combat that oftentimes even if your opponent doesn't have anything to cycle the prickly marmoset is still going to get in and the same holds true when your opponent is on defense as well if they're just holding up any number of cycling cards you know even your four toughness creature can't really attack in very well second best red common in ikoria fire prophecy can't really beat this rate red and one for three damage to a creature is very very solid and limited and especially when you get the fact that you can also kind of cycle in addition to dealing the three damage right it's not true cycling but you get to potentially take a card that you can't cast or an ex extra land and put it on the bottom of your library and get another card the versatility just makes it so so good And the number one red common in Ikoria, in my opinion, is the Rumbling Rockside. Red and three mana to deal X damage to a creature where X is the number of lands you control. Now, so baseline, you're normally going to be able to deal four damage for four mana. It is a sorcery, yes, but this card is very easily splashable and oftentimes is just going to kill a creature right off the bat. So Rumbling Rockside, I think, is probably just the best red common. Let's move on to green now. Third best green common in Ikoria is going to be the Humble Naturalist. These type of creatures are generally pretty good in limited environments, and this one actually has three toughness, so it can do a bit of early blocking as well. Uh, the reason I'm giving it such a high rating is because there are so many good splash cards. Because of all the good mutate in the format, you're often going to pl be playing more than two colors, and Humble Naturalist really helps in that regard. So, number three, Humble Naturalist. The second best green common in this set is going to be the Essence Symbiote. Not too many good two drops in this format. We know uh, Humble Naturalist was the third rated by me, but hum Essence Symbiote does a really good job of just being a good mutate enabler. Um, whereas Humble Naturalist is a human, so you can't mutate on top of it. Essence Symbiote is a beast, and so oftentimes you'll go turn two Essence Symbiote, turn three mutate something on top of it, and you'll get that extra bonus from the Symbiote. So. This card does a lot of work for just two mana, and uh, I would love to get as many as possible in my mutation decks. So, Essence Symbiote, second best green common in the set. The top green common for drafting and sealed in Ikoria is going to be Ram Through. You can't really beat this type of effect, especially for this price. This is not one of those fight effects where both creatures deal damage to each other. No, this one just, it says your creature deals damage to their creature. And of course, if you have a trample creature in addition, you can oftentimes do a lot of damage to the opponent in addition to killing one of their cards. So Ram Through has a lot of utility, especially with the, the multiple ways that you can actually give trample in this format. Uh, combine it with instant speed, and I think Ram Through is the clear number one best green common in this set. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Ikoria is a great set, one of the best draft sets I've played in quite some time, and it doesn't seem like it's going to stop anytime soon. Shoutouts to Wizards of the Coast again for sponsoring this video, and don't forget to check out all of my other content here on my YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.